We love a self-built camper van here at Coombe Valley Campers and this van in particular is no exception to the rule. Colin, who owns this van, has owned it for seven years and it's on its fourth iteration of camper van interior. I'm Lee, this is Coombe Valley Campers and today we're going to do our magazine show all about the van. So today we've got Colin with us and his van and before anybody else points out, no, we didn't get dressed together this morning, it just so happens we're wearing exactly the same thing. So thanks for coming down today Colin and joining us with your van. Now we've known Colin, well we've known you for what, about four years yeah. now? You've been following us in our sort of infancy. Um, and now it's kind of come full circle and now we can actually yeah. feature your van. Yeah. Now when I first saw this, it looked nothing like this, did it? No. I mean, first of all, tell us how long you've owned it. Uh, I've had it for about seven years uh -huh. now. Um, I bought it years ago for a bargain price, Yeah, which was nice. Are you going to divulge that or are you just going to say it was a bit of a bargain? Well, it, it was told me already, it was a bit of a bargain, but... People can guess. <laughs> yeah, people can leave it Colin. down. Leave that down in the comments. So tell me how much Colin paid for his van. And you said it was quite a low miler as well? Yes, 86,000, full service history. That's really good. That's really good. And was it completely standard or did it have any modifications? It was pretty much standard. It was lowered about 40 mil. Yeah. Had some kid seats in the back and some windows. And that's it. And that was it. Brilliant. And well, when I first saw this van in particular, it was raised slightly or was yes. it stock high? Uh, it might be stock back then, to be fair, or, or raised. Yeah. And it had big beefy tires on it yes. as well. Yeah. And actually those wheels and tires have gone full circle as well because now our very own Dan wears those wheels and tires on his van. Still going. Yes, absolutely. But um, so it's a really, really nice example of, what was it, the triple eight van or was it just a bog standard sort of delivery van? Bog standard, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 2.5 ATA. Brilliant. So. And well, let's start talking about the mods really. And you, you know, it's, it's got the roof, it's got the awning, it's got, it's well it's pretty damn low if you've seen the shot so far. Um, tell us sort of why you've got it and um, why you've built it before we go inside and take a look. Why have you built it for its sort of purpose? Uh, well years ago before this I had a classic mini mm -hmm. which is beautiful um, but we're having a child at the time and chucking saws and stuff in the back my job was not practical. Yeah. So what does a man do? One, one of these. Yeah. So the dream was to just have a camper van, take the family out, the usual stuff, which has taken seven years to do. But it's a perfect vehicle as well. Sticking buggy in the sides, shopping. Yeah. Does everything. Brilliant. Love, it. Love a van. Excellent. Cool. So let's have a quick walk round the outside. Before we start and have a chat about the modifications on this van then, I just want to have a quick word about how you can support the channel. We've had a look at the stats and only 40% of you are actual subscribers. So do us a favor, do yourself a favor, click the subscribe button, because that'll really help us out and it'll help you out because you will see our videos come up straight away when you're a subscriber. The other way you can support us is to actually become a Patreon. Now we've got a link in the description to our Patreon. Colin is a Patreon supporter. You've been a Patreon supporter for what? Six months now or something like that? Yeah. And uh, yeah, it, it helps us so much produce more videos like this 
can get more content out to you. And also you get discounts on merchandise. At base level, you get a 10% discount on all merch. And in the higher tiers, you get 20% discount on all merch. And I'm wearing a couple of bits today. We've got a new hat and our really nice 3D embroidered hoodie. So get yourself down in the description down below. Check out some of our links. Check out the description in the video. And yeah, become a supporter of Queen Valley Campus. Thanks very much. The first thing that strikes you then about this van is the colour. It's recently been painted um, and oh, it just looks absolutely gorgeous. Tell us a bit more about it. Luckily this was the original colour um, that I found it in, so it's not white, yep. which is nice. Yeah. Nothing against white vans. Like 90% of them are white. Yeah, so it's VW Techno Blue, yep. so it's a nice metallic finish. Um, it's just recently been painted by CMS, mm -hmm. local company, to you guys. So uh, kept to the original colour. Cause it's brilliant, nice right? Because you have, and we'll get back to it, we'll talk about this a bit later, you had a slightly different colour panel at the back. So and so now everything's one colour, which is great, and it really, really pops. When it's going down the street especially, you've got the really nice clean wheels, you've got the beautiful paint, and it, as a van, it absolutely pops. You've kept with the commercial look. Yeah. So you've commercial. kept the block, yeah. yeah. You've kept the black bumpers, which yeah. I personally really like. I prefer it keeping simple, and you've, you've kept it commercial looking as well with the steel wheels. Yep. Which is good. What wheels are they? These are from T5. So yeah. T5 GP, 17 inch wheels, box standard. Um, and they're wearing some rubber bands now. They may well be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've got 45 profile fronts now. Yeah. Because it was rubbing on the arches. So I've tucked it right in. Uh, it rides okay. It rides okay. <laughs> Bigger ones at the back, so a bit of a race air cooled vibe going on. Yeah. Um, yeah, it looks brilliant. Lovely. Excellent. And modifications to the front bumper, I noticed that you've got the fogs in there. You did have a light bar at one stage, yeah. didn't so you? When it was raised, I had a LED bar in here, which I loved. Yeah. Excellent. I had this black as well. Um, but now I've gone for the more sort of OEM standard. And the orange indicators. Vibe, yeah. And if we're getting really nerdy, the T4 guys will know yeah. that the more standard look is really quite in at the moment. So I really like the way you've gone with it. So if we move ourselves around to the side, let's go and have a look. Moving around to the passenger side, the first thing you may notice, notice is just how low this sits. What are the specs on the suspension? So at the moment we're running Vogland 40mm springs at the back mm -hmm. with no spaces. Uh, and then just the weight of the van is pushing it down a bit. Keeping it nicely settled. That for a normal you know, 40mm spring, but it seems to work. Yeah. Um, the front is just torsion bars wound down to match. I've Brilliant. Still, still got a, you know, half an inch on the, on the bars there, so. And we've got those skinny rubber band tires. We've got the skinny rubber yeah. band tires. It looks great, it's a great look, and I love the commercial wheels as well. Um, obviously, if you are thinking about putting these sorts of wheels on your van, the stud pattern is completely different. On a T4 and earlier, it's a five by 112 stud pattern. On a T5, am I right in saying it's a five by 120? 120, yeah. So this wears adapters, which brings yeah. the wheels out nicely, um, but obviously you're gonna have problems potentially with tire fitment as well. So it's a great look. Um, again, you can see the beautiful paintwork down the side, and there's a couple of bolt on accessories. We've got the dub flexor screen. Um, oh, what's the name for them? Wind deflectors. Wind deflectors and uh, I'm going to say controversially, you went for the. Be. I'm going to say Toulé. It is. Because I was corrected on my yeah. last video. I said Thule. Yeah, yeah that's how you want to say it. So no. it's Toulé Omnistar awning. And actually, Coombe Valley Campers, we had uh, some brackets fabricated for this van in particular because the ones that came with they were quite thin and you weren't happy with how far away the awning sat. So we actually reproduced some for you um, and we're gonna look into reproducing more if there's much more interest. So yeah, the awning is a great addition to the van and I'm gonna say, that's what, a 2.6? Yes. Brilliant. Brilliant. Showing my nerdy side as well. Yeah. No, nice. And the other yeah. thing, apart from the low height, you've got a great big awning. Uh, sorry, awning, pop top on it. Oh, have you may have noticed that. Yeah. yeah. Um, tell us a bit more about the pop top. So that one is from West Dubs, yep. which is quite a, a well-known place for T4s. Mm -hmm. um, went for black, A, it matches the van, B, it was cheaper. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> to have it matched. And it's got a fancy zip-out scenic canvas as well. Brilliant. So uh, for the hot, rare hot days. So you can sit up there, sit up have there, a high we'll vantage point. Just chill out. It's great. Brilliant, I love but, it. Um, that was a big addition to the van, that was. Yeah. That really changed it. So. And you had the guys down at West Dub fit that for you, yeah? Uh, Kent. Pop tops. Brilliant. Had a fit there. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, kept it very local. Excellent. So that was all good. Nice one. And uh, last but not least, we shall have a move around the back where there is one of the biggest changes to the bodywork. 
One of the biggest changes Colin made to the van then was changing the barn doors for a full tailgate. It meant that, in fact, tell us why you went for that decision. So, believe it or not, it was mainly to do with this right. contraption sitting on the back. Um, Christie's used every day as my family vehicle. We do a lot of mountain biking, uh -huh. two kids, wife, the usual stuff. Um, you can only get three bike racks, right. bikes on a, on a um, stable door sort of setup. Um, and plus these are nicer and more sought after really in the whole camping yeah. world. So it's a bit of shade when it's raining uh, and controversially look better. Yeah, no, I would, I would agree. I do prefer a tailgate, yeah. one for aesthetics and two because it will provide you that extra cover uh, when you're out camping as well. And there's lots of options if you have a tailgate. You can actually get awnings that wrap all the way around or if you're so inclined, you could actually um, mount a shower head to the tailgate too. Um, but yeah, a great choice to make. And you were really fortunate in that you found a tailgate, a very similar oh, colour. So, so you got away with it for a oh, while. Yeah. yeah. And then you went ahead and did the full repaint yeah. as well. And like I say, it does look absolutely gorgeous. And if you've noticed, we've got Woody and Buzz down the bottom there. They follow Colin absolutely everywhere. And it's just a really funny addition to the bus. And I'm sure it gets a couple of points and smiles and thumbs up. Yeah, and the kids love it, so. Brilliant. And that's what it's all about. That. You're a family guy, having a van like this is great for kids. Um, and if anybody is ever thinking about buying a van, um, having a van this size is great for a daily as you use it. And the fact that it's got the pop top and it can be up to four berth is great for, for when you've got the kids too as well. So brilliant. I think that's enough of the outside now. Let's take a look inside the cab and inside the main living area. This next part, I'm gonna leave up to Colin. Basically, the whole dash and the cab is full of trinkets that mean quite a lot to Colin and his family. So, up to you, mate. Tell us some of the uh, the key things inside your cab and what they mean to, to you and your family. All right, welcome aboard. So, as you can see, we've got all sorts of fancy, beautiful artwork rested around the place. Basically, all these things are just random bits of uh, fun stuff. So we've got crab claws we find from the beach, usual uh, bits and pieces that kids pick up and go yay let's stick that in the van you go okay then got random stuff that the kids may well have stolen from the shops that's there because they're little thieves um, random stuff there's a little cap there from my mountain bike days signed by someone pretty cool yeah uh, anything random you even got a little t4 in there I don't know if you can see that but I resprayed myself I was pretty sad at that, it was a rainy day. And a little cool box in here as well, which is quite smart. Plug in the cold uh, beers when not driving, of course. So, uh, yeah, the more rubbish, the better. So I noticed you've got a couple of changes to the actual driving position, the steering wheel, and you've done a quite a few modifications to the door cards. Yeah. Tell us a bit about those. So we've got a little steering wheel cover here, just a generic uh, eBay jobby, but it smartens up a bit, because the other one was starting to just fall apart so uh, that kind of matches with the rest of the theme. Uh, I've got these little covers here from Retro Retrims so uh, they just stick on there really a bit of work but it looks quite quite smart. Again the T4s normally have a bit of a scuffing and commercial rankness going on um, and then I just sprayed the top there black just for a bit of contrast because it can be pretty grey in here so um, yeah pleased with the result. Not and bad. the seats, you've had them re-trimmed or have you put the covers on yourself? These are well? um, just covers from V-Dub Transporters, I think. So they're really smart. I had a little play, play with these as well to get these fitting nice and tight. So um, they look pretty smart. Again, matches the whole grey grey and black theme. It's safe to say you've completely transformed the cab from what it once was to, well, your space now. Yeah, you used to, have, used to have three seats in the back, uh, in the front here. Uh, again, like commercial bog standard, but I found these, managed to get them for a tenner. Full captain seats, and if you're a T4 guy, you'll know that's a, uh, a bargain. Yeah. Uh, yeah, much better like this, and they swivel around, which you might see later on, it's just spot on. But it just means more arguments about who sits in the front with the driver, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, it's all good. As a company, we've actually worked on this van a couple of times now. Um, in its first version of a yeah. camper van, we did some work to the back and now we've done some work on this as well. Right, yeah. So tell us about the sort of stages it's been through. So as, I, as you know, I've got it empty. So its first sort of conversion was done on a zero budget. Like, yeah. You know, just nothing at all. So I was riding skips and 
pallet wood and all sorts. It was nice, it had a nice sort of feel to it. Mm -hmm. um, but every time you open the door, it's fall off or, you know, little bits just weren't working. Um, so then it sort of evolved again to be slightly better. Like you say, you've done a few bits there and a bit more pallet wood. Yeah. Until I finally thought, right, I need to do something about this, you know. And I, I do remember that interior here and it had a really nice sort of uh, vibe to it, but this feels really nice and up to date, nice and modern, but still you and your vibe as well. Um, let's start with the with the pod yeah. system. What what can you tell us about that? It's pretty much where the new sort of you know, van started with this just uh, Facebook Marketplace. Really? Uh, as you know, it's always, oh, I better, can I afford it? Yeah, I'll get it. So this came out of a uh, Sprinter. Uh -huh. uh, it didn't have all this stuff, it just had the basic doors. It had also had some doors here, so I had to fit these roller shutters myself. Yep. Because um, the bed I had at the time interfered with that, so mm -hmm. I had to play around a bit more than anticipated with that. And it came with the hob as well, so that's my first fancy. That's brilliant. Hob. Before that, it was just an old sort of T25 lift up yep. style gas one. And I noticed you're sitting on two spinning seat bases, and it's not often seen. No, so I just about allowed enough room to get two people in here. It really opens up the space, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, uh, obviously, with the family. And one of us sitting facing that way would be a bit antisocial, wouldn't it? No, it's great. So it's nice to be able to get just about in there and sit comfortably. So. And it shows just how versatile it is as well. And pretty much everything's got a little bit of, um, you know, your custom touch to it, or at least you've even made it. I mean, I think the table, um, you've had the sticker made. Was that something we did? I can't quite remember now. That was an eBay special, but yeah. yeah. Um, again, so I sort of had that sticker and thought, I'll go with the theme. There's a little cushion behind you that ties in quite nicely there. Lovely. Um, yeah, and I've gone with a sort of burgundy grey theme, but obviously I bought this, wasn't my choice. Actually, King Valley Campers colours, yeah. isn't it? The burgundy, exactly the grey, exactly and, that. The, and the black as well. Now, it's so. like I said before, it's a really nice vibe, and even having the pop top up here as well. And looking at the rock and roll bed, um, again, it's in the colours. Did you have this stitched? Did you have this made? Yeah, I had that made, so I bought these seat covers first. Uh -huh. uh, and then the bed at the time was just another uh, rock and roll bed, which was a bit rubbish so I got that and thought well may as well match it up mm -hmm. and then the little red VW bits in there as well ties in nicely brilliant I did want to go with a nice fabric but having kids never gonna happen no no so absolutely. they forced me to go with grey and black brilliant and right. where's the bed from uh, Evans campers uh -huh. in, in, in Wales only a small little place but it's a great little design brilliant. and again there's lots of nice little touches um, you've got little LED lights um, We've got hooks to keep your awning rail uh, winding handle out as well. And you've fitted some extra nice features under the seat as well. Um, you've got a heater. Yes, got a diesel heater in the back. Mm -hmm. And is... I noticed a hose pipe in the back. Yes, a little hose pipe, as you do, just for washing off your boots or your muddy paws if you've got a dog. Muddy kids, even yeah. better. You know, so it's excellent. It's really, really handy just to have that. So it covers pretty much everything you want to do. Um, and well as well, because I mean, even post lockdown, you've been out with um, you know with your kids and camping and, and yeah. mountain biking as well. So it covers all bases. Well, I'd like to say thank you very much today oh, for nice. showing us around the van. Um, again, it's a it's a, and a van that's evolved over the last seven years. It's had more than one interior, and we just love the fact that. Well, Colin's done most of it himself, some of the bigger jobs obviously, like the roof, etc., and the spray that he's had other people, um, third parties, to carry that out. But this is the vibe we love at King yeah. Valley Campers, doing things for yourself, building things for, you, for yourself, and you know, hitting places like Facebook Marketplace and That's eBay, yeah. because you don't always have to go with a set interior. You've right. got to build it to suit you as well. Um, and I guess that's us. That's us for today. Thanks again for joining us. Once again, if you would like to uh, support the channel, head down to the description below and there's lots of links down there that will help you out. We want to do more of these uh, magazine features, these build features, so if you've got a van that you'd like us to feature, please email us at info at coombevalleycampers.co.uk. But for now, Colin, thanks Thank again. You. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll finish with some nice rolling shots of the van as it's cruising down the road, yeah. I'm sure. Look forward to it. Thanks again. Cheers, bye-bye.